Hey, what's going on, guys? In this video, we're gonna write the only single out of Python code within the scrape shell in order to crawl through the range of pages on this Indian movie site and then recursively crawl through all the movies in particular and scrape this kind of uh, table's data and store it to CSV. So, if you're interested in completing this sort of a tutorial, buckle up and we begin. So, the very first thing to consider I need simply to invoke my scrape shell and then I need to loop uh, over the range of pages. So, I can say for page in range from 1 to 2. I will specify the range uh, of several pages later on, but for now, just for the debugging purposes, I would leave this as is. And now we need to combine our fetch method and the response object within the tuple to work with them sim simultaneously. So here uh, I need to provide my URL and I want to stringify the page to be uh, to make sure that we're crawling through uh, uh, the variable number of pages here. So if I just uh, uh, hit enter, yeah, so we get this 200 response, which is nice. So from now on, we can work, start start working with our response object. So response.css, and now we need to specify the uh, uh, movie card selector. And here it is, and then we would uh, uh, extract the h reference as well. So here I would like to search for a div with a class equals to this one and then recursively looking for an a tag and the attribute of the h reference and I want to get all elements available so let's have a look what we got here okay seems like we got the, uh, the list of our links and now in order to crawl them we need to append the base url to the movie to the movie details url and then we would be able to crawl through all of them basically so in order to do this uh okay also i would probably now limit this to the only element because we don't really need to crawl through uh, all through all the elements, uh, through all the links, but through the only one, just uh, uh, as long as we debug our our scraper here. So for URL in this list, again, I want to uh, work with the patch method and the response object at the same time. And here I'm providing this uh, base URL and plus the URL that we've just extracted and hopefully I would make just two requests yeah perfect so now uh, uh, I'm getting the response from this page so from now on we can actually start working uh, on extracting data from this sort of a table so let's go for this as well okay so let me just uh, try to find the uh, appropriate response here okay so here is the response uh, I'm supposed to be working with so and now regarding this response, so uh, we need to say, well, uh, obviously this would be a list comprehension, so let me just enclose this within the square bracket. So response.css, and we're looking for a table tag. And I've already calculated the indexes, so we need all the indexes from, from the zero to, uh, and just like the very last one. And then we need to, to recursively search for all the table row tags, or TR tags. And here I can simply say for for row in this list. And here we would have been first printing some stuff and then we would have been actually writing this to CSV. So just to make things uh, a little bit more pre-printed, uh, I would like to provide a couple of new lines here and also we'll make use of another list comprehension. And here I would say so row.css and we're looking for all the table data tags here and now we say for column in the list of the rows and here we want to say call.css and well actually this should be join as well so join and call.css and I say space followed by the star and text. So we want to extract all the te text from the child elements from uh, our table data tag. And we don't really want them to be in the format of uh, a list. So we want to convert them to string. That's the reason for using that join stuff here. And here uh, I want to say get all. So 
let's have a look what we got in return here okay so perfect so now we get uh, our table data being extracted in this pretty format but uh we obviously we don't really need the very first element so let's try to get rid of that as well and in order to do this uh let me just find a proper way to specify the index okay yeah i guess this should be right over in here so we skip the first element and go to the very last one i'm not sure if it works yeah it does work actually so yeah we did strip the very first unnecessary element here but uh i'm just wondering probably not all along the way okay let me just try to run this one more time just to make make sure it works okay yeah yeah now this works perfectly well and also we need to uh, get rid of those rows that don't have any uh, table data tags in, uh, inside them so uh, no empty rows in the csv file would ever would ever appear so mm, okay let me try, <laughs> try to find this as well so i need to look where we're looping over the table row tags so i guess this one so i can say if the length of so we're looking for a row, right? So row.css and trying to find some table data tag. So if there are some, then we would append them. If there, are, if there are none, then just drop them. So I hope now we won't have this empty. Yeah, so yeah, now we don't have this empty list, em empty rows kind of. So, well, this is pretty nice already. So from now on, we can already try to I guess write this to CSV file, right? And then we would uh, enable the pagination appropriately so the data would be stored. So we need to say import CSV in order to be able to actually write the data to the CSV file. And now let me go to my print statement over in here. So I'm not going to be using this new line characters anymore. And here, instead of print, I would like to say CSV.writer and dot write row this like and now the writer takes uh, uh the only argument here so the file stream actually so i say open and let's store the file uh this let's store this data to the file called movies dot csv and we want to append to the file stream and now before i run this uh, i try to carefully close the stuff to show you that i don't have movies.csv file on my desktop and when i just run this i should have obtained one okay so well, perfect here i got the file called movies.csv now let's have a look at the content of this file so to make sure that the columns look like uh, looks like nicely there no errors no data shifts or something okay and if it is fine we'll go through uh, we'll go crawl through the range of pages then okay so this is this is already pretty nice okay yeah uh we didn't yet provide the names for our uh, uh columns but uh, that would be uh probably well i don't know we could have actually added this line of code at the very beginning i guess so well let's try to let's try to grab this mm, so we don't need, need the thumbnail right we need only these guys so let me just try to copy them and now carefully go to the very beginning of our line and here uh, i can simply say open and i want to open again this kind of movies dot csv file and this time i want to write to the file stream and dot right here and now we need to write a string so i just try to paste uh, this uh, in and uh, at the very end we would have the new line to fit to fit the csv format okay here so here we would have a comma actor fill lyricist so here we would have a comma as well and here composer here singer okay so let's try this again okay now let's have a look at our updated csv file i hope now it would contain some some sort of a uh, column names well at least i hope so yeah it seems like 
it seems like it do it does have some so sound hidden singer composer lyricist yeah perfect so the very last thing to consider uh so from now we don't from now on we don't really need to overwrite the to delete this file and create this again because uh, it won't be appended uh, to the existing uh, file anymore it would be reset uh, uh the, the the line would reset the, this file with the column names so no need to uh, rewrite that so the very last thing to consider let's try to crawl through the five pages here it would take some time but uh still uh well okay just hold on a sec before crawling through the uh, five pages let me just uh, first try to crawl through all the movies within the only page okay so just to make sure it works properly and everything is just fine there yeah it takes time but we're not in a hurry right guys so now it should have more data here okay now it's much more data available so yeah perfect yeah i really like this so which means that well let's just just to make sure everything works perfectly well just delete this one and now i just specified the range of pages to be from one to say six so from now on would i crawl through exactly five pages and hold my breath and hit enter and hope it will work as expected so now we're crawling through the range of pages and within the every page we recursively crawl through every single movie in particular and then we're scraping this data from the html table and writing all the stuff to the movies.cs we follow in the current working directory so let's wait uh just for a while until the crawler kind of ends its job and uh by, by the way uh it, it's uh, it's crawling i just want to say a few words regarding how uh one can actually run this so it's it's as simple as you just need to to have python and scrapey being installed in your local system and i would provide the this single line of code that we've just created uh in the single single line github source file and you can just grab that invoke your scrapey shell and just uh, paste this line in hit enter and you should obtain this movies.csv file in the current working directory where your terminal or whatever prog program you're using to run the scrapey shell is opened so this is kind of it basically okay guys so uh it just uh, takes quite a bit of time to scrape the data but uh for now on yeah finally finally we did this okay so let me just have a look at the final version of this movies.csv file just want to check how many entries we have at the very end here so we have uh, 825 entries well i think this is pretty uh this is pretty uh good result here so um, this the the task the goal has been achieved and i think uh, this data set looks pretty impressive especially bearing in mind that we're reading the only single line of python code within the scrapey shell in order to obtain it so uh this is it for my side guys uh thanks for watching until next time and take care